Microsoft has been working hard behind the scenes to make Excel better than ever. And today we're going to look at the top five new Excel features you need to know. Let's get started. First up, Focus Cell. Focus Cell is a really cool new feature that helps you keep track of your active cell in large spreadsheets. So if you've ever lost your place in a large data set, you're going to be really excited about this. Focus Cell automatically highlights the row and column of the active cell, making it super easy to hone in on which data point we're looking at. To activate Focus Cell, all we have to do is go to the View tab, select Focus Cell, and now the row and column of our active cell are automatically highlighted. You can also update the highlight color if you'd like by clicking the arrow next to the Focus button, opening the Focus Cell color menu, and selecting any color. If you're not in the mood to focus anymore, no problem. You can easily turn this feature off by clicking the Focus Cell command again. Next up is the new Dark Mode, which finally darkens your entire worksheet, including the cells. Dark Mode has been one of the most requested Excel features, and Microsoft has finally delivered. To activate the new Dark Mode, first things first, we need to update our Office theme settings to Black by navigating to the File tab, selecting Account, and then selecting black in the theme dropdown. Now that we are using a compatible theme, we can enable dark mode by navigating to the view tab and clicking switch modes. How cool is that? Dark mode doesn't just look cool, but it actually reduces eye strain and low light conditions. Shout out to Microsoft for looking out for us. Our third new feature is Excel's new translation capabilities with the translate and detect language functions. These new functions allow you to easily translate text directly in your spreadsheet without ever leaving Excel. For example, here we have a list of product descriptions that we need to translate into Spanish for our website. This used to be difficult to accomplish in Excel, but now all we have to do is enter the new translate function, select the value that we want to translate as the text argument, enter the language code that the text is currently in as a source language argument, and lastly, enter the language code that we want to translate the text into as the text argument. Now just enter the function to automatically translate all of the descriptions into Spanish. It really doesn't get much faster than that. Now let's say someone sent you this spreadsheet and you need to translate this data into English, but you have no idea what language it's in. Do not panic. You can use the detect language function to detect the language that the data is currently in. Just enter the function, select the data, and Excel automatically returns the language code for you. Now you can just wrap this in the translate function and enter the English language code as the target argument to translate the data into English. Python and Excel broke the internet last year, but the announcement also left a large group of users lost because a lot of people don't know how to write Python code. Well, feature number four is that Copilot now integrates with Python and Excel, making anyone capable of advanced analysis. This powerful new feature allows you to perform complex Python-based analysis without knowing how to code. All you have to do is open Copilot, select Advanced Analysis, and just press Start Advanced Analysis. As you can see, Copilot is already off to work analyzing our data using Python, and all we have to do is sit back and relax. Once it's finished, we can review the results. We have summary statistics, sales trends over time, profit distribution, and even a product performance table all in the click of a button. And from here, you can literally ask Copilot to do anything you want. You can create Python charts in Excel, forecast your data, create a data model. The opportunities are endless. If you aren't using Python in Excel yet because you don't know how to code, I'm afraid that excuse isn't going to work anymore. Last but not least is the trim range function, which automatically helps clean up your data ranges. For example, here we have a data table and are using the text function to return the month that the order was placed in so that we can summarize this data by month using a pivot table. Instead of dragging this formula down every time new data is added or having a bunch of errors in our table from pre-filling the formula down the column, we can use the trim range function. All we have to do is replace the date cell reference in our text function with the entire range of column B wrapped in the trim range function, and that's it. Now, if we add more data to the bottom of our table, the month is automatically calculated. The way that this is working is the trim range function is scanning column B and excluding blank rows from the range. Once a cell has data in it, it's included in the range. I'm particularly excited for this because it'll keep data tables containing calculated columns clean. With these new features, you can finally ditch Google Translate, 
stay laser focused on your worksheets, and much more. Which update are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.